thought he was starting. You had him tell yet? No. Oh shit. No. <clears throat> All right. What's up? What's up, YouTube? Uh, we back with another video. Today we're here with my boy Carl. What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? Uh, Carl here. I uh, met him last year. Uh, here, first year, Carter. And uh, this summer. He was skinny as fuck. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I moved up a little. We hit the gym. I've been doing put. I've been doing some push ups and pull ups. You know. Uh, we got closer this summer. We're doing a summer job and. Now we're here. So to Carl here is a ladies' man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at it. He knows it. He knows it too, man. Look at it. Just a little bit, man. Just a little bit. What, hey, what's that book? What's that book called that you uh, read? Rational Mail. Rational Mail by Rolo Tomasi. By Rolo Tomasi. Yeah. All you young men out there uh, and older men uh, need to get the book. It's the Bible for the man. Yeah, I've seen, a, I've seen a clip of the minorities like, uh -huh. when they were younger, and they're like, it's Zeb and the other guy, and they're like saying what they were known for. And uh, one guy was like, I was known as the weird YouTube kid, and he had like this. Weird YouTube kid? <laughs> yeah, and he had like this like YouTube videos like proposing to girls. And yeah. at that moment, it seemed dumb, but like now he's made it. The yeah. other guy was like a basketballer, but the other yeah. guy was like making like some dumb YouTube stuff, and it was like, he was like, shh. Now he's like buff, but back then he was like skinny, little short kid, and like making YouTube videos proposing to girls and everything. Yeah. And like, he's a weird YouTube kid. Well, yeah, I feel, um, well, I'm just starting out as well, and I feel like people are always going to talk, but you just got to stay consistent with what you want to do, and at the end of the day, it will pay off. So, yeah. So that's, that's my vision. Consistency is definitely like number one stuff, man. Like, you always want to be consistent, you know, day in, day out. You know, whatever you say, don't give a fuck what I'm saying, just say it. Yeah. But you gotta be consistent, man. You gotta like show up. Every day you gotta show up, man. Show up in the morning, show up at night, show up. Mm -hmm. So what's up, man? Life so far, man. Ladies, you right. stop talking to them? What's going on? Nah, bro. Uh, I just, I don't know. I'm in a moment in my life where, you know what I mean? I wanna have more control over my sexual urges mm -hmm. and like not always think of women as like, Oh, I'm gonna have sex, or damn, I'm, I could get with her, or, damn, the yeah. things I do to her, you know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely agree with you. Like, I feel like uh, I find like moments like that too, you know. And yeah, and for and right now, I think I'm gonna for like the, at least the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna continue like I'm gonna put my head down and I'm just gonna grind it out in the gym and my business and schoolwork and stuff like that and not focus so much on women because that's just energy i could be putting in other things that are way more important than chasing women you know yeah plus the thing is you're in your 20s and uh one thing about being in your 20s that's better for you mm -hmm. have you been 20 yet yes bro <laughs> bro yeah How old are you? yeah i'm 20. you don't have to laugh at the camera but you're 20? yeah bro the thing with like you're just fresh, basically. The thing with that is that uh, the good thing about it is that uh, mm -hmm. you have like a lot of time to fail. I have a lot of time to fail too. You know, exactly. like you rise and grind over work out, in which I know we will. Yeah. You can do something else, or you can exactly. do something else. You know, like, yeah. you don't want to start this when you're forty. Yeah. You want to start this now, so that by the time you're like thirty-ish, yeah. you've like developed the resilience and like you know what the fuck you want to do. You know, like hey, this is where I want to go. You know, but, exactly. Uh, Twenties is for you, messing up. It's for you, like swimming everywhere and like kind of dipping your foot in every water and be like is this the depth that i like now is this, is this too shallow this maybe it's too deep you know it's like this, that's a good part about your 20s so you gotta you gotta do it right now you cannot just wait you know? yeah one thing i've learned is that uh, from like just watching educational tiktoks and like online social media people that i follow they've always saying like you want to uh, do things now like don't wait if you want to start something go ahead and start it even if you fail you're gonna learn from it and then that can lead you to another opportunity because if you just stand still and you don't do anything you're not gonna do anything in life you're gonna be stagnant um uh, like a graph basically so you could be here and then you could be looking into something starting starting and then you can fail but that could lead you to another opportunity which will allow you to surpass 
your previous point, and you can be hired. That's just what I've like been learning. Yeah, there's also a chapter in the Bible that kind of talks about it. It's like it says, uh, it says there's no specific time to plant or to to sow your seeds. There's no specific way. Mm-hmm. Like you can't be saying, oh, I'm waiting for the fall or I'm waiting for the rainy season. Yeah. Because the rainy season is going to be there, then something's going to happen. You know. So if you have the seeds during the summer, mm-hmm. plant the summer. Plant the summer. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like there's no time to like wait for the perfect moment to sit in you know what i'm saying like yeah. ain't no perfect moment you just gotta go for it you gotta, you gotta be like okay like if you have some money you can't wait till you have a desired amount of money to get it done mm-hmm. the amount of money you have you gotta stop with something start with something then that's gonna multiply it's gonna invest in its business it's gonna multiply and then multiply and then multiply you know? mm-hmm. first of all the material lady told you that she's missed you right? Yeah, yeah. And she wanna see you. You've been in her mind all day. What that means is like a simple compromise, like hold together. Because we stopped texting for what like a few months ago. And then she hit me up again. You all stopped texting. Yeah. She knows you got other pictures, but she doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, she, she knows, knows. you texting. Exactly. She knows. So what you do? Right? Both of them there in the middle, in the middle mind, right? <laughs> white, white lady on the left side. Yeah. Latino lady in their eyes. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Alright. <clears throat> this is what you do. You kiss whoever don't like you more. So we're assuming the Latina lady likes Roku. She just feeds Roku So yeah. she she wants some of the action. Okay. So you don't kiss her. Mm-hmm. It's game. It's so game. you don't kiss her. You kiss her because you want to validate her. And she's feeling jealous because she's like, why does this nigga have another lady here? Yeah. So she's she wants to like show dominance, like, hey. This is my nigga. Yeah. You know? So y'all watching the TV, you're like, oh shit, laughing and shit, right? I kind of eye contact and shit, give mm-hmm. her a kiss. Of course she saw that, but she's not gonna leave. Cause she goes that far, and she's the one who in, cause she's the one who reached out to you. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck, she wants you. She reached out to you. She's gonna stay there. Which one? The, the Latina. Yeah, she reached out to me. Exactly. If she reached out to you, yeah. she don't care anything. She don't care who you fuck. She just wanna be next. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, I don't care what you eat, as long as you eat me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, so uh, she's right there. You already you already kiss her, right? Mm-hmm. You don't want to just chill and kiss her. The white girl? Yeah. yeah. Kiss her. And she's gonna be like, okay, right? She now feels nice. She's like, oh yeah, this lady gives me you know some play and stuff and you talk to this other lady, she's feeling nice. Mm-hmm. You talk to you talk to this other lady or you're watching and stuff. Yeah. Oh, she's definitely gonna kiss you back. Cause she's like, oh, this is a competition. Bang. <laughs> Fucking slay it. I'm just sucking your dick. I'm just sucking your dick. I'm just sucking your dick. Bro, it's game. And here's the thing. Worst case scenario, the one who don't like you more is gonna leave. Mm-hmm. She's gonna feel disrespected. Yeah. But the one who reaches when everybody behind. <laughs> That's, it's a show sure thing. She gonna be way behind. Cause she gonna be like, you know what? I've reached, I've, I've reached out so bad. I'm already here. I'm already here. I want this guy. I know he can mess with other people. I don't give a fuck about all that. But that is a bitch. Man. So, you already know she's gonna stay locked in. So, you're just chilling. So, here, this is, that's how you work out a kiss. I'm saying, talk to that. Talk to her. Kiss her. Kiss her back. And then just relax and see how it's gonna go. I kid you not, none of them is gonna say shit. They're gonna just be watching the TV and be like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> kiss her. They're gonna be like thinking in mind like they're gonna be like women are emotional and hormonal. So the fact that you excite something that other niggas don't. One thing about women is they don't like to be bored. You know? Yeah, that's it's true. Either that's true. They're excited or they're uncertain. Yeah. The more uncertain they are in a relationship, like, where am I? Who's yeah. this? Blah blah blah. The more she's gonna the more they're gonna stay. That uncertainty so what's gonna keep them there? Because women like being in places that they're uncertain. Mm-hmm. They're like, their heart rate is going up, that's what they want. And they want a man who's like in control. So you just chill. You kiss both of them. Just chill watching the TV. Kiss her again, kiss her again. Run the show. Get up, get her a drink. Play a game with the three of you. You gotta be the fun nigga. You gotta be the nigga to break the ice between you two. Yeah, yeah, bring them together. Bring, exactly. bring them together. Break the ice. Play a game. You never have an ever. You have that card game or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Play. Two people, you know? 
know what you do? What? Hey, let me show you something. I'll beat you over. Start making out and stuff. Start doing all that shit. Get her to the level where she wants to fight. You know? Yeah. Like get down and dirty. Tell tell the other one to wait for a minute. Go get her, cause she wants her time next. Tell her come over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come over here. Come on, dog. What? <laughs> They're uncertain, they're kimono. Bro, bro. Twist them, a white bit, and a latino. Oh, shit. Bro, after that, you never fail your classes. You can't believe you're going to be skyrocketing. Set your business the next day. Suit and tie. Eat the fuck out of crowd. Tell me this. God damn, bro. This is bad. Bro, holy shit. This man, I'm telling you. Um, that wraps up uh, pretty much this study session. Yeah. We're, we're studying and then, like, Decided to flip out my phone and start recording. Yes, took a break. Yeah. Like you said, I'm gonna keep grinding it out. You guys as well. Yeah, remember, there's no right time to do anything. There's a lot of butterflies. That's when you do it, man. You gotta, you gotta strike the nail while it's hot. Exactly. Yeah. I'll catch you guys in another video. Remember to always do, uh, what does it say? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that wraps up today's video. Uh, yep. Remember, guys, to always um, get comfortable with uncomfortable situations, and that will help you grow throughout life, progress. And like always, rise and ground, baby. Let's get it.